Good old-fashioned British televised healthcare there, but what's American televised healthcare like? Let's ask an American, namely drunk comic, Doug Stanhope. I'm Doug Stanhope, and that's why I drink. As I'm sure you're aware, we don't have a national health service here in America like you do. We either have to pay for it or we have to suck it up. Fucking UK, they have nationalized health care. We have uh, 300 channels of cable and TV doctors. You have to get the best you can do. Yeah, we're chock full of TV doctors, doling out all the free advice you're willing to swallow. Have you heard of Dr. Phil? He's an Oprah Winfrey protege. The other day, we saw he had a 800 pound guy that had made a YouTube video of himself. I'm just trying to get some help. Nutritionist, personal trainer, Dr. Phil. Please help me, Dr. Phil, because of my can't get out of my bed. So Dr. Phil, being a great doctor and all, he sends an ambulance directly to this poor fat prick's house and they tow his bed into an oversized industrial ambulance and they drive him directly to the studios, as any medical professional would do. Do you really believe that you can have a normal life and a normal body and a normal health? Yeah. When they run out of obvious advice, like uh, plug up your top hole, fatty, you're eating too much, then they have to move into junk science. Now we just start inventing diseases. What, you're a hoarder? Oh wait, that's not a habit, that is a obsessive compulsive disorder. And we have an expert here that can help you with it if you allow them to exploit you on TV for an hour. I watch hoarders and I see shit I need. <laughs> Then we have the cottage industry of rehab television. You have Dr. Drew, and you have Addicted, and you have Cracking Addiction. Intervention is my favorite. Intervention is a show that's 58 minutes long of complete exploitation. It's just watching some poor prick stumble through his life and get fired from his job, and he's shooting up in a bus toilet, and now he's puking in a trash can and shit in his pants. That's the first 55 minutes, and then they cut to the intervention, and that's just the sad family sitting around reading these sappy letters that they wrote, like Hallmark greeting cards. This is the ways you've ruined my life, Bruce. You didn't show up for Sheila's bar mitzvah. Wah. And then they whisk them off to rehab, where you go, okay, now this is where it's helpful. We're gonna, it's gonna show us how they rehabilitate these people. Nope, that's the end of the show. Graphic at the end. Bruce hasn't drank since July 21st, 2009. Well, what'd you do in the rehab? If you're trying to help people, you might want to tell us what the fucking cure is. You skipped over that part entirely. <laughs> I'm just saying that if you're going to get your medical advice from a TV doctor, you might as well just get the advice from Dr. Dre or Dr. Seuss. Because at least that way the bad advice you get will rhyme. <laughs>